Hey folks, this is Rob, and uh, I just uh, I had just the other night ordered the new uh, Garage Band from uh, the App Store for my first generation iPad, and uh, I just wanted to show you some of these features because this is really really cool. Some of the things you can do. Uh, with GarageBand. Now, particularly if you're interested in uh, guitar, um, you can choose from different guitar instruments, including uh, acoustic, a classic clean, a hard rock, and I guess what they call a roots rock guitar. Um, I have the hard rock guitar selected. A um, couple of cool things. You have some pedals. Um, there's a vintage drive and a robo flanger. Uh, pedal that you can use to uh, add a little bit to the sound. You can also switch between chords and notes. And if you switch to chords, now you can also, it shows you chords based on the key you choose. And I don't know how, how well you can see that, but uh, um, you can select basically what key you want. And based on the key, it shows you certain chords. And you can just play the whole chord. or you can play some of the strings. Now it also responds to muting, which is pretty cool. You see what I'm doing with my left hand? Um, and you can also hit the individual strings and it basically plays uh, the uh, appropriate arpeggio so that it sounds you know, it sounds good, or it sounds as good as it can sound. Let's bring the volume up a little bit there. So, see that? That's pretty cool. Now when you go to the notes mode, you get a fretboard, and you can actually have certain uh, scales uh, imposed on the fretboard, so they you can see that the certain notes are a little bit of a different color, or you could turn that off, and then you can just play individual notes. I prefer to use two hands. So here's one on the uh, the G scale, G pentatonic. So I think that's pretty cool that you can do that string bending action. You can do the sliding action. And you can even do uh, some nifty two-hand tapping, tapping a la Eddie Van Halen. So that is, uh, that's really, really cool and, uh, you can also get some pretty good sound out of the acoustic guitar as well. Let's go to the chords. And there's also this nifty feature called autoplay, which uh, if you there's, I guess, different types of patterns it'll play, and you just select a chord and it'll auto play uh, an arpeggio or a rhythm. So that is pretty cool as well, and you can choose from different rhythms. Um, there are other instruments that you can select. Uh, some of them are basic, you know, where you just hit everything and, and it's sort of on you to play it. Others are smart instruments, and that's what the guitar is, and it, it sort of helps you to play. Um, there's a bass, a piano, uh, guitars. Uh, there's a regular keyboard, which you can choose from different pianos. The drums are pretty cool because you can select uh, you can select different drum kits and uh, one thing about the performance is uh, there's sometimes there's a little lag of things opening and closing but uh, all in all it's it's pretty good um, and I've actually um, I'll show you what I've recorded so far 
but you see here on the um, the drums you can hit the different let's up the volume a little bit you can hit different things and it's actually sensitive to where you touch it and also to the velocity with which you hit it and you can choose from multiple kits um, including some drum machines so that's pretty cool uh, here's what an actual song looks like and this is a demo uh, song and uh, you can see on the left you have all the instruments and then here you have um, your uh, actual waveforms and, and the waveforms uh, come from things that have been you know put in via either electronic uh, conne a connection or a microphone and that's uh, really there's another cool feature if we go to instruments you can uh, actually we should go there you can plug in a guitar or, or a microphone but I think the guitar uh, is is particularly cool because um, if you if you purchase I think it's a hundred dollar guitar interface cable you then get to choose from all these different amps I mean this is just ridiculous you know what they have modeled in here they have uh, all these different stacks um, modeled and then also pedal board combos and uh, if you touch the blank uh, pedal board you have you know some some different pedal boards that you can um, choose from so here's a fuzz machine and you can add pedal boards and then I guess you here you can go back to your um, your amp you can switch between your amp and your pedal so this is pretty damn cool if you ask me and I guess you can you can also swipe between them and then again to go back to your recording and in the recording view you can you know you can manipulate you can order your tracks you can do a lot with that let me just show you um, if I tap on my songs it, it goes back to the different recordings I'll just show you something that I put together myself I don't think it's that great but uh, I'm just learning with this and it's incorporating piano guitar drums actually several guitars uh, bass and uh, this was relatively easy to do. Um, not that it sounds that great, but uh, it, it still was easy to put something together with multiple instruments. And then um, you can, you know, select an individual track, and then you can adjust uh, the levels for each track. And uh, you can also, uh, you can also, you know, if I wanted to add an instrument, I just click the plus sign and choose my instrument that I want to add. Um, the smart drums are pretty interesting. Basically, you choose a kit and it will allow you to place different things on a certain section. So let's say I want something simple as far as the bass drum and then I want a snare drum that's more complex and loud. and a hi-hat that is so quiet and in the middle and it'll just play that beat now I can hit the dice button and it'll choose something for me and I can hit this button and stop it and then I can reset it so uh, lots of really cool stuff here and uh, if you you know if you're creative and you want to um, make some music you can do it now uh, on the iPad it's pretty uh, it's pretty amazing and uh, I think if I so now basically I've added that I can take that away by um, selecting it actually I forget how to how to make one song make a particular track go away but uh, you can tap it and it'll uh, 
it'll go away. But it's uh, it's really cool, and uh, I think uh, you should check it out. It's uh, it's GarageBand on the iPad, and again, this is running on the iPad run iPad One, and it seems to run pretty well. And at uh, at five bucks, uh, I think it's a bargain. <laughs> 